All right, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Yeso Motosha. I'm the media director. And this morning, I think I want to try to respond to some few messages I got. And that is like, you know, that people want to have a, a beginner tutorial. So what you actually have in here on my, on my desktop, as you can see, is looking like an egg anyway. So this is what I will actually be showing you how I actually did it. So I'm going to be very smart and fast about this. It's actually a beginner tutorial. So if you're actually new to Cinema 4D, of course, yes, I think this is your time to, you know, get some stuff out in here. So this is the one I did, but, you know, just for the sake of this tutorial, let me start a new one. So make a code. Having here a code. And of course, make it to your size, make it to whatever stuff you want it to be. Then of course, come in here and just make it a subdivision. What subdivision does for you is it actually allows you to smoothen the cope. So drop the cope into the subdivision. Immediately you do that, it turns all the edges into fairly like a, 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 a circular form. Anyway, so but under the subdivision, just try to increase this guy to like 6. And probably this guy to like four. If your system is actually high hand, you can make it six. If it's not high hand, you can make it four anyway. Because the more subdivision editor you have, then the more it takes for your system to actually render. Then of course, come take your tapper. Tapper, what tapper does is actually okay. Let me just show you anyway. So we just don't talk too much about it. Drop your tapper inside your code. So once you have your tapper, then you can fit it to parents. That means your tapper has not been added to your code. Your code has been made to be to become something like should I call it a circle or a spare now? Anyway, I'm not too sure it's well rounded, so let's call it a spare. So your tapper is also added to this. So what does the tapper do? The tapper actually could help you stretch an image either to come towards up or towards down. I mean, you can always just manipulate it anyway. So, I think what we just need to do next is you just come under, okay, just check your settings here, then come to your strength, then change your strength to probably 70 or thereabout. So, your taste, I mean, to whatever suits you. There are different kinds of eggs anyway. This is looking like a local, <laughs> it's looking like a local egg, but I think I want it like this. But I think another stuff I will just love to do is to drag my tapper up a little bit a little bit then of course i can now increase the strength so making it look a bit more like egg egg usually don't have um the same um the same um, circumference so watch it most time is always bigger at the bottom at the base and you know towards the 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 top it's it's narrower kind of so i think that's what we we want to try to achieve in here i think this is looking more like it anyway yes this is looking more like it anyway so i can easily have a floor once you have your floor just make sure you 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 can check it out that your floor is actually okay on your full view panel so that your egg is not kind of like floating anyway so once you just have it this way all right so once you have it this way then i think the job is done the next stop is just for you to texture and how do you texture this anyway your egg is done i mean this is looking like an egg already just come choose your material under your material just let's get a bump to it let's get a texture noise i think yes okay then i think you might want to reset this the global scale is actually too huge for egg i think it should be probably like 20 okay six sorry yeah six ten between six and ten it's okay then for the color anyway you could just want to take something that looks towards uh, like an egg here Sorry, I don't know what kind of file is producing this egg, so but let's just manage this color anyway. What I care to show you more 
is actually the bump which you can actually increase or decrease in here you understand so you can always come back in here but for now i think we should still leave it around 20. then you can close this you can just either drag and drop this guy to it and of course let's have a quick render wow this is too rough for me anyway so what am i gonna do i think we need to reduce this guy and of course do another quick render okay fine it's looking more like it then don't forget we haven't sent, um, set our global illumination and ambient so let's just go get that those guys up okay once these guys are actually up then of course your settings your frame then analyzing make sure it is actually on best i, I think i always love to use them um, what's it called a uh, structure them structure and presets which is actually free for you to use you can download this on you know on the internet so what i basically would just do is come under my 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 content browser then go under my preset then i can go under grace gorilla i can decide to choose any of its studio i think the one i use was this i could use this i could use this so then all you just care about or all you want to care about is bringing your egg so let's just go bring my second egg in here so copy then go to this guy edit then paste okay so i could drag it here so this is a new egg to the right this is our old egg to the left you could see the texture are actually a bit different anyway but the eggs are actually the modeling are actually looking just very very much alike anyway so so and that is it i think that is how to model egg or probably eggs anyway just very simple step if you don't get this i don't know you should get this anyway so but you can see the bomb material here the bomb material here is actually the one on the on the right is actually a bit more than the one on the left anyway so i think you can always just adjust this to whatever you want but i think left to me I think I may just want to reduce this bump a little bit more. Then, of course, you know, then do another quick render, and that is all. That is all it takes for you to create egg in Cinema 4D. So, this is actually like I said, is a beginner tutorial. It's very simple. It's something you can do less than five minutes, I believe. So, just lay your hand on it. Don't stress yourself for now trying to create light or environment you know just make use of all, um, others and presets and you know it makes your job quicker and faster so these are eggs you can decide to animate you can decide to to do whatever anyway but all i just care about is you know show you how to model an egg within five minutes all right thank you my name is shesamoto show i remain media director so get on my site i mean get on um what's it called get on my youtube channel you see some other free tutorials that you can also you know just work with and you know we can always just grow i don't know so all right thank you